From the two moon phenomena to new strange galaxies, there are a lot of glorious but weird discoveries made about space. I'm Melissa Mladi, your host, and here are your top 10 strange things astronomers have discovered in space. In our number 10 spot, we have radio signals. Apparently, for 15 years now, researchers and astronomers have been receiving ultra bright and ultra strong signals lasting only a few minutes seconds, but still notable to observe. These flashes have been called FRBs, fast radio bursts, and apparently they appear to be coming from billions of light years away. It has been said that of course they are not aliens, of course they would say that. Oh really? So you're so sure that they're not aliens? Okay, okay, well then what are they? They don't actually know. People are funny. They don't know where they're coming from and what they mean, but they know for sure sure that it is not by any means aliens. I reject this conclusion. How do they know that when they know nothing about where they're coming from? Sounds like fake news to me. In our number 9 spot we have the moon moon. Aww, the idea of a moon with a little baby brother or sister is just so cute. Well, as silly as this may sound, it's a real theory. Apparently it's been known by its internet name, the moon moon. I like it. To the point. Clear cut. I get it. The moon moon has a few other names. The sub moon, the moonitos, <laughs> personal favorite of mine, grand moons, and moonets to name a few. So anyways, it hasn't technically been discovered yet, but in theory, it is possible apparently. One day we shall discover the moonitos, aka moon moon, and it shall be a good day for mankind. In our number 8 spot we have space pasta. Apparently it has been discovered that the strongest substance in the universe is something called nuclear pasta. Nuclear pasta is protons and neutrons in a star's shriveled husk. It is formed from what is left of a dead star. It has crazy gravitational pressure, which squeezes the protons and neutrons into laguini like tangles of material. Hence, the pasta name. Gosh, I hate when unedible things are named after food. It's just wrong. Hearing them just makes me hungry and it sucks. But anyways, thinking of a leftover star forming to create a sort of space pasta is pretty cool. I feel like that could be the premise of a fun children's book. If you turn this into a book, I don't care about the copyright rights. Just dedicate the book to me and thank me for being an idea guy. In our number 7 spot we have Tabby's star. A star has been found, but this isn't any normal star. This is a star that apparently dips in and out of brightness at irregular intervals and for unusual lengths of time, apparently up to a 22% dimming in brightness. The Tabby star was discovered by astronomer Tabitha Boijin of Louisiana State University. People have debated over what the heck is going on here, why is it dimming so much, and some of the theories I am definitely on board for. Like the idea of an alien megastructure. What a cool thought. The most popular theory is that it's really just a large ring of dust that's causing the dimming. Nah, that theory sucks. Alien megastructure for the win. In our number 6 spot we have infrared light. Astronomers have discovered that there is a long stream of infrared light coming from what is known as a neutron star, which is basically dense objects formed after the death of a regular star. But get this, the infrared light is coming from 800 light years away. I know this may not mean anything to you if you don't know much about space, but from what I've gathered, this is something that has never been observed before. Yet again, the only operating theory is that it's just dust surrounding the star, but no one really knows. It's crazy to think that neutron stars are constantly emitting high energy radiation comparable to X rays, and that this one traveled 800 light years. It makes you think about how that could possibly affect us and what we don't know that we don't know. In our number five spot, we have rogue planets. Rogue planets are basically baby planets that have been flung away from their parent star due to gravitational forces. There is one that has been found that is known as, well, are you ready? Because this one's a mouthful. Simp J01365663 plus 0933473. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't they have just given it a fun name like Melissa? <laughs> 
I should write to them. Or they could even use my last name because I, I made it up, so there's no other star or person like it. NASA, you have my permission. Melody may be given to a star phenomenon. You're welcome. Anyways, Simp J plus 15 numbers is apparently considered a rogue planet object that's 200 light years away and the magnetic force and the magnetic field is supposedly more than 200 times stronger than Jupiter's. A strong force can make flashing auras and this can be seen with radio telescopes. In our number 4 spot we have the moon Hyperion. A lot of astronomers have said that the weirdest moon that has been discovered so far is Jupiter's moon which is called Hyperion. Hyperion is truly a weird shape, not quite round like our moon, and it's full of craters. It looks like a rock that you might find on the beach that you throw into the water because it doesn't look as pretty as the more colorful rock. Am I right or am I right or am I right? <laughs> Apparently it has a very chaotic rotation. Its axis of rotation apparently wobbles so much that its orientation in space is unpredictable. It is also known to be composed largely of water ice. Only a small amount of it is actually rock. Interesting. In our number 3 spot we have high energy neutrino. NASA's Fermi telescope helped astronomers discover something miraculous on September 22, 2017. They identified a monster black hole in a far off off galaxy as the source of a high energy neutrino that was projected at this planet, planet Earth, and seen by the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory. Apparently it hit the Antarctic ice with energy of about 300 trillion electron volts. For perspective, that is more than 45 times the energy achievable by the most powerful particle accelerator on Earth. Well to think that this had no effect on humanity at all would be a serious lack of understanding understanding how everything in life affects one another. To know that the gravitational pull of the moon affects the tides in the ocean is to know that this energy strike absolutely affected us somehow, whether we understand it or not. I scrolled back and saw that I did get my Reiki license that day, so no wonder I feel magic in my blood. <laughs> It was the neutrino particles from galaxies away. Even though it hit Antarctica and not Canada, but we're on the same planet so whatever, it fits my narrative and I'm sticking to it. Coming up in our number 2 spot we have a strange galaxy. In 2016, astronomers discovered a new galaxy that was called an ultra diffuse galaxy because it's as big as a galaxy like the Milky Way, but its stars are spread out thinly. It was called the DG Sat 1. It is strange because unlike most other galaxies, this one was sitting all alone. It was a Lona. Others are typically found in clusters. It has also been said that it seems to be an object formed in a different era of the universe, approximately 1 billion or so years after the Big Bang. Some think DG Sat is a living fossil. Interesting. In our number one spot today, we have the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula. In a very recent broadcast at NASA headquarters, NASA released new photos from the James Webb Space Telescope that has helped astrologers gather data that they never had before. There was one picture in particular that was of the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula. With this picture, astronomers were able to see brand new stars that were completely hidden before. The host spoke about how by looking at the photo you get a sense of depth and texture. They also discovered over 100 or more new stars, bubbles and cavities and jets that are being blown out by these newborn stars, galaxies you know, lurking in the background of this picture. They saw structures that have never been seen before that have left them puzzled as well. The cliffs of Carina Nebula are extremely strange but beautiful to look at. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'm your host Melissa Milotti. Reach out to me on Insta or YouTube at Melissa Milotti and I will see you next time. I hope you have a good day. Hype, hype, Hyperion. Hyperion? Hyperion. Hyperion, right? Yeah, I think it is. Hyperion. Hyperion, yeah, that's what, okay. Gotta bring the hair back to the front. <laughs> Dang. I ha yeah, I like, uh, I like learning about things like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. I have a bit of a cough, so apologies for my annoying cough. All right. Okay, thank you. It has been said that they are not aliens, but of course they are. <laughs> oh, damn it, I hate when I stutter. <laughs>